Hi there folks, this is Big Doug Outdoors. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about getting a trailer uh, registered, plated, or whatever you want to call it, and also getting a title for it. Uh, here in state of Indiana, you do have to have it titled and registered for the road. You can't just pull it behind you down the road and uh, expect that it's legal. Uh, for some reason, Indiana is one of those states that requires you to do it. I know Kentucky does it, you don't have to. And if you're gonna buy one from Kentucky, uh, for what I understood from the BMV lady, she says it is almost impossible to get that boat trailer or any trailer from Kentucky uh, plated and all that stuff here in Indiana. So if you're gonna look for one, make sure it's got a title for it. Don't worry about it, it ain't registered or whatever. Make sure the trailer has a title for it. Uh, because you're going to go through all kinds of problems to get there. And she said you even have to go to court, uh, hope and pray to nobody can test that the, tr the trailer's theirs or anything um, to help get the title. So that way, I mean, it's just, it's a pain. Let's just put it that way. And it's a very pro lengthy process. Uh, the state trooper that came out and inspected my boat and trailer boat, uh, he was going through that process himself. And he said he'd been doing it ever since July. And this was around the end of November uh, when I was just starting to go through some process with the boat, well, with the trailer and boat. And it was rough, folks. It was even it was rough even for him. He's like, I'm a state trooper and I can't get it. Uh, but anyways, again, you know, make sure you got a title for it. If you don't, uh, assembled trailer, he told me, or a, a homemade trailer you buy from, buy from someone, Tell them that you build it yourself. Well, I'm not about lying to people. I mean, I'm, I can't do it. You know, I just couldn't do it. So, uh, the trailer that I got was a four by eight, and I needed to extend it out to 15 feet with a tongue, because that way, when I put my boat on there, it fits perfectly on there. Um, there's nothing in all over the back or anything. Uh, so I. Turned around, added it, extended the, t the tongue of the trailer out to where I can get my 15 foot long. And then I had to add some bunks and some other stuff to it. So I kind of modified the trailer and changed it. So I was able to say, yeah, I assembled some parts on the trailer. That's what I put it. And so after I did this, uh, I felt I got a packet and a state trooper he came out, uh, sheriff deputies do do it here in the county, here in Indiana, but the problem of it is they only do it on certain days of the week sometimes, some of them, and then some state troopers, the, the state troopers, they usually come out throughout the weekend and through the weekday, uh, whenever you need them to come out. They'll come out there and uh, go through the process of inspecting it. And so they inspected my trailer with his packet. He filled it all out, uh, his portion of it, and basically, you know, he says, uh, yeah, it's a trailer. No, it does not have a VIN number. Um, there's no title for it, nothing. Um, so then once he fills all that out, then I'm able to send all that in uh, after I fill all my part out with the package. And on the package, um, there's one thing, there's a checklist on the front page, and that one will tell you what you need to do and one of them is, uh, like let's say you get a bill selling, it's a used trailer that it's assembled or uh, handmade built and there's no title for it. They will not go off the bill sell, folks. So don't think they will. If somebody tells you they will, they're lying to you. Don't believe them. Even if you're buying a trailer that was once titled underneath to somebody else and it's got a VIN number on it, don't buy it. Trust me, you're going to go through all kinds of heartache and hurdles to get that title and to get it registered for the road uh, here in state of Indiana. It is, it, the lady said again, she said it was almost impossible to get that taken care of. So with that, um, I turned around, filled all my information out because it asks you for your phone number and all that. And one part in there, it asks us for receipts. They want all the copy of the receipts that for the material you use. Well, since I didn't have receipts, uh, I contacted the BMV that was at headquarters there in Indianapolis, 
and the lady was really helpful and told me I need to get this one form and I can't remember what it was and she says what it is you go through and tell the details of what used material what material was used in building this trailer so I put that all down in there and then I turned around uh, uh, filled it all out my information and then to pay for it uh, the last sheet will tell you uh, you can use either a credit card, debit card, uh, your um, check from, a, from your personal checks, or a, uh, um, what are them things called? You go to the bank and it'll give you this check thing, you uh, money order. Well, I used my debit, my um, credit card because debit card, you know, you don't want to give that information out there. If that gets lost in the mail, I mean, you, that's kind of, ugh. With my credit card is a little better, you know, though I don't mind that. I can fix that easier than my, you know, going through the process. But anyways, I used my credit card, and when it came through, uh, two weeks after I sent the package in is when I knew that it got accepted because I never did get a call or, or an email saying, hey, your BMV thing was approved and your VIN number is on the way or anything like that. So uh, be ready for that you know if you do get those uh that's usually stating that there's something wrong in your pa packet and the best thing is i recommend just call the bmv the number it's on there it'll tell you exactly they will tell you go through it with you and help you if you don't understand some things and that was one information i had problems with is how improved this thing's mine because i have no receipts uh, so and she was very helpful with that and when I got you know when I send it in so then I don't have to keep sending it in back and forth back and forth playing this game um, so uh, it, like I said about three weeks of sending it in I ended up getting an envelope in the mail and it said uh, what you needed to do and I it does not come with the VIN number on a plate so you have to either order it or go to a shop that does um, trophies you know they'll you take a little golf trophy or baseball trophy or whatever uh, and then you put in your information what you want to put on this little goat tag tag or whatever it's on it well they do those as well they'll do VIN numbers for you uh, so I didn't have nobody locally around where I live I just got online looked it up Amazon had them and on there you can contact uh, put your information uh, what your VIN number needs to say because they'll turn around and stamp it out for you and that's what I did and I got it back pretty quick uh, within a week I had that VIN number in my hands and I have a rivet gun I drilled the hose that matched the hose uh, they had already drilled out for me and I riveted it to the tongue of the trailer and when I talked to the state trooper at time he said to, if you're facing with the tongue facing towards you he says put it on the left side of the tongue so that's where I put it at. Uh, the other state trooper and I got everything done with that, having it stamped permanently on the trailer. State trooper came out, he seen it, made sure the numbers matched, filled his information out, and gave me the, the paper. And I took it to the BMV, and today I got my title uh, made up for the trailer, and also, I got the um, um, plate as well coming in the mail. So with that being said, that's how you get it done here in Indiana with doing that. I, I don't know other states. Indiana, this is how they do it. So I just wanted to give you guys that information, maybe help out there for you. Uh, again, you know, I know this is going to be a lengthy, lengthy little video for you guys, and I apologize for that. And I just want to say thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for the ones that have subscribed, subscribed to it. If you haven't, please do so. And tell a friend, family, and neighbor about my YouTube channel. This helps make it grow. Uh, I surely would appreciate that. Uh, and I just want to say God bless and good luck to your upcoming hunting, fishing, camping here in 2021, folks. And we'll catch you till next time.